Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Hope you guys are doing good. Happy Friday. So if you guys do not know, it is breaking news as of an hour ago that Howard University has now decided to revoke Diddy's honorary degree. Now, I find this very interesting because I spoke about this on March 22nd during my one milli live stream. So I'm, I'm assuming some people at Howard are definitely some tea sippers because I find it very interesting that nobody was really talking about this whole Howard University situation and now they are revoking his degree. So before I go ahead and read to you guys what Howard University is saying, we're gonna go ahead and watch a quick flashback to my live stream about two weeks ago. So go ahead and check this out. And almost like validation for other people too. Who remembers when Howard University gave him like an honorary degree? And I hate honorary degrees. I've talked about this in the past. I think they're bullshit. I'm sorry, if I'm paying millions of dollars to go to a school to get a, a real degree, to be out here in the workforce, you know, fingers crossed that I find a job, I don't think it's right that celebrities can just come and be like, oh, well, I'm a celebrity now, I want an honorary degree. No, fuck that. If that's the case, give, give everybody an honorary de degree. Why should I pay for my degree, but then all of a sudden he has a doctorate? And he didn't study. So anyways, this happened like probably like six years ago. I don't know if y'all remember this, but it was a lot of controversy. Diddy didn't graduate from Howard. He dropped out. He was going to Howard. And then when everything happened, when the people got killed at the stampede because he was the one promoting the party, he ended up dropping out and he went to go be Andre Harrell's intern. And a lot of people say that Andre Harrell, you know, was one of the ones who, you know, turned Diddy out and turned him on to this lifestyle and all this stuff, allegedly. But he didn't graduate from Howard. He dropped out of Howard to go be an intern and, you know, ended up becoming a billionaire and a really successful black mogul. So Howard wanted to give him an honorary degree. And there was a lot of students that were like protesting, like, no, that's not fair. He didn't even graduate from Howard. Why are they honoring him? So this caused some controversy. Y'all don't forget shit. Let me see if I can pull up the video. This was like on the news. And a lot of people, like a lot of the students who felt the way, they were attacked. They were really, really attacked about it. Okay, here we go. This is from 10 years ago. I remember this. New at 11 tonight, a con. Let me share my screen. Does anybody remember this or am I just the, the loser who just doesn't forget anything? Damn, I need a life. <laughs> All right. We're gonna watch this real quick. Controversy brewing over the commencement speaker at a DC university. Howard University announced that the music mogul Sean P. Diddy Combs will deliver the graduation address in May. But tonight there's backlash from students who say that since Diddy was a dropout, he didn't graduate there. They say therefore he doesn't deserve the honor. Tom Rousey spoke with students tonight. He's live on campus with what they had to say. Tom, what'd you hear? Well, and Leon behind me here, they are already starting to set up the risers for next month's graduation. Past speakers here at Howard have included Bill and Hillary Clinton, Colin Powell, Oprah Winfrey, a lot of very notable people. Some folks here don't think Diddy belongs on that list, but others are just as adamant he's a great choice. Definitely on Twitter, there are people who are feeling strongly on both sides. A lot of people are upset. In person and on the internet, the choice of Sean Combs, also known as Puff Daddy and Diddy, has been controversial since the moment it was announced. What we've been told is he didn't graduate from Howard University. Diddy did go to Howard for a time in the late 80s, but he dropped out. Some are asking, why have someone who can really only tell you that a degree is worthless speak at graduation? I'm not necessarily sure that I'm too thrilled about him being our commencement speaker because 
I'm, I'm not sure what he's going to tell me. There's no doubt Sean Combs has been successful as a musician and a producer and an entrepreneur. Some say that's why they have no problem with him speaking and getting an honorary doctorate. Though he may not have gotten his degree from this university, he still worked hard to become a very successful person. I feel that he upholds our principles. I'm a computer science major, so there's a lot of people in my field who didn't graduate that are making billions upon billions of dollars. Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, they go on to do great things, but it seems like there's some negative stereotypes. I don't know why they're being perpetuated at Diddy, maybe because of his color. <laughs> again, society once again putting, you know, fame and prestige over morals. Now, mind you, 10 years ago, he was still on bullshit. He was throwing kettleballs at people. <laughs> he owed people publishing. He wasn't a good person back then. So yeah, this didn't age well at all. <laughs> I don't forget shit. But shout out to the one girl in there, the one sister that was like, yeah, I don't think he's a, what is he gonna tell me? You didn't graduate. You lucked up. You know what I'm saying? You started bad boys. Yeah, you're rich, but what are you gonna tell me who is probably in a bunch of student loan debt, you know, hoping to find a job once I get this degree? You know, and now we fast forward 10 years later and look where we're at. Honey. All right. So y'all just saw that flashback and my, you know, opinions about honorary degrees and how Diddy was a shitty person back then and they had no business giving him an honorary degree. So this is what's being reported today. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys the article. So the article says, Howard University announced Friday that it has revoked the honorary degree conferred upon Sean Combs also known as Diddy, following a unanimous vote by the Board of Trustees. This decision comes after a recently released video showed behavior that the university deemed fundamentally incompatible with its core values. In a statement, a spokesperson for the Board of Trustees said, the Howard University Board of Trustees voted unanimously today to accept the return by Mr. Sean Combs of the honorary degree conferred upon him in 2014. This acceptance, this acceptance revokes all honors and privileges associated with the degree Accordingly, the board has directed that his name be removed from all documents listing honorary degree recipients of Howard University. Then they go on to say the university's decision follows a recently published Rolling Stone article which detailed allegations that Combs had abused a girlfriend on a campus in the late 80s. According to the article, Combs was seen screaming in a belligerent manner and hitting the young woman with what appeared to be a belt. Howard University emphasized that its strong opposition to all acts of interpersonal violence. In addition to revoking the honorary degree, the board has instructed the administration to terminate a 2016 gift agreement with Combs and disband the scholarship program named after him and return his $1 million contribution and terminate a 2023 pledge agreement with the Sean Combs Foundation. The statement clarified that no payment towards the $1 million pledge has been due or made by Sean Combs Foundation as of this date. Therefore, no funds are due to be returned under the 2023 pledge agreement. Now, what I find very interesting about this, if you guys remember, about seven months ago, Diddy was at Howard University and the news was there to capture it all. And basically he came back to donate a million dollars. And I felt looking back that the only reason why he donated that because he knew all this mess was getting ready to come out about Cassie. So he was giving back publishing. He was donating money to the university. So all of this is just very interesting now that the university wants to give back the money. And they're saying that he hasn't pledged anything since then. And they're taking back the honorary degrees. So y'all go ahead and check this out. There's always a huge turnout for homecoming at Howard University, but this year's event was next level. That's because Sean Diddy Combs was on campus rocking the stage. Diddy says coming to Howard University is like coming home. What emotions, what did you feel when you set foot back on campus? Oh man, I had jumped out and there's a Howard University, I guess there's a new building on the corner down the street. Um, and um, I jumped out and I took a picture and I had Howard University 
you know, sprawled out there, and it was just like, I just felt like, wow, so many incredible memories, you know? Diddy is a proud alum of Howard University. He's also a proud supporter of historically black institutions. Combs said Howard University is the place that laid his foundation, so he says it's an honor to reciprocate with a $1 million donation. This is such a blessing. Right. It's such a blessing to be able to come back here. We always got to keep on sowing seed like back into this university. This is one of the most important black universities in the world, in the history of the world. Ain't no better way than to start with a check. Yeah. Somebody got to put something in the collection plate. From Howard University alum to music mogul to entrepreneur, Diddy has successfully made his mark in the world but he says his work isn't done yet. When you hear the word legacy, yeah. your legacy in particular, mm -hmm. what comes to mind? What do you think about? I want my legacy to be freedom. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to I see true freedom for everybody, you know, and especially my people. And so um, the way to get to that is, you know, having things change radically. So I, I look forward to radical change in the world. All right, so you guys just saw that video. So this whole situation is very interesting. Um, but again, I find it very ironic that I spoke about this on my stream. And now they are revoking his honorary degree. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I want to hear y'all's opinions. How do y'all feel about this? And do you guys agree with me about how I feel about honorary degrees? That it should not be okay to just hand somebody an honorary degree because they're a celebrity when you have real people paying money and getting into student loan debts for those same doctorates. So I look forward to reading y'all's comments down below. So make sure that you like the video. Feel free to share it. Most importantly, make sure you still subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show.